Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today I, uh, I have the, uh, the duty of uh, advising you of what is suspected to be a tragic uh, murder suicide which occurred uh, in Williamstown yesterday evening. At about 4.30 pm yesterday, uh, police and emergency services were called to the Whispering Wall at Williamstown after witnesses reported seeing a man uh, who had an infant uh, in a child carrier attached to him a jump from uh, the Whispering Wall. When uh, emergency services arrived, uh, they found uh, the man deceased. Uh, the infant girl was uh, unresponsive initially, being assisted by uh, members of the public uh, and then the emergency services uh, as they arrived. Uh, but sadly, uh, the little girl uh, passed away at the scene. Detectives uh, from the Barossa uh, CIB and Major Crime Investigation Branch, along with uh, Forensic Crime Scene Investigators, uh, have been out to the scene uh, yesterday and again today, uh, and are conducting uh, an investigation around the circumstances surrounding this incident. Now, although a formal identification is yet uh, to be um, completed, uh, we do believe um, the man involved uh, to be Henry Shepherdson, who's uh, 38 years of age, uh, and his daughter, Kobe Shepherdson, uh, who was nine months old, uh, both uh, from the western suburbs. Our, our very early investigation uh, has shown uh, some history of domestic violence uh, involved uh, with uh, this family. Um, we have been speaking with uh, the mother of Kobe in relation to uh, this matter, obviously, and no one else has been sought uh, in relation to these deaths. So SAPOL are currently preparing a, a report uh, for the coroner. And obviously this is a, a highly distressing uh, and emotional uh, set of circumstances, uh, not only for the family and friends uh, of uh, Kobe and, and also Henry, um, and, and Kobe's mother as well, uh, but for the people who were witnesses and, and tried to assist and, uh, Kobe at the scene, uh, for the emergency services uh, who re have responded uh, to this terrible tragedy as well, uh, and, the, and the extended uh, family and friends and loved ones uh, involved uh, with this family. The families uh, of both uh, the deceased um, have asked for privacy, uh, both from uh, the media uh, and from the community more broadly. Uh, Kobe's mother uh, has bravely um, supplied uh, some photographs uh, which have been made available to the media, uh, which is how she um, wants Kobe to be remembered. So we ask that, uh, again, that the media and uh, the public um, respect uh, her wishes uh, and respect the privacy of both the families involved. Uh, yes, we have reached out to witnesses. Um, yes, uh, just another element to this tragic set of circumstances. We understand there were children um, visiting the Whispering Mall yesterday at this time. Uh, so um, we have some very robust processes in place, uh, not only to look after um, the uh, families directly involved in this, but um, people who are witnesses. Uh, whether that is through direct support through our um, specialist uh, people within uh, specialist police officers and other employees within SAPOL, uh, or whether it's through referral to um, other services available, whether it's through um, education departments or schools, or um, there are a range of resources which we can tap into immediately, and we are actively making sure those people are supported as well. Is there any suggestion? How many witnesses were there? Hey, I'm sorry, I don't have any information about how many people were there at the time. Is there any suggestion that Henry wasn't supposed to? Uh, no, uh, Henry uh, has lawful access to Kobe. Who is it supposed to be supervised at all? Uh, no, I don't believe so, um, but what I do know is that he did have lawful access to Kobe. And have they been separated or working together? Uh, so, look, every relationship is a complex um, thing, um, particularly when there is also domestic violence involved in a relationship. Um, whilst I'm not at liberty to discuss the specifics um, of this particular situation, that will certainly form part of our investigation um, as to what was happening in the relationship and obviously uh, what was done um, prior to uh, this particular incident. Yeah, I was raising an alarm about the baby being taken. 
um, is it the case that she's already been released and she's been taken? Yeah, so let's be clear, the baby was not taken, okay? So, um, but certainly um, the mother uh, did contact Triple Zero. Uh, in addition to obviously um, witnesses at the Whispering Wall to provide us with some information that, that had, she had come uh, to know as part of this, yes. Was she there? Was she there? Was she was was she there at the Whispering Wall as well? Um, no, no, the mother was not there at the wall. Are they, are they married? Are they married? Uh, so again, um, I, I can't go much into the relationship because that will form part of the investigation, but. Um, Clearly, they have had a child together. There is a relationship there. Um, something has happened uh, within that relationship. And uh, um, for reasons that I think um, every, all of us fathom to understand, um, it's resulted in this uh, just absolutely tra tragic outcome. Because Cody's mother won't be speaking, which is completely understandable, and she still writes some photographs of Cody, was there anything that she wanted, a way that she described her daughter that she wanted? Um, look, I think that if the short answer to your question is no, um, there hasn't been anything passed on to me about how she would like um, her uh, Kobe to be um, described or remembered. But I think uh, when people see um, the photographs that her mum supplied, um, that tells the story, I think. Was yeah. it the long period of time between her calling to be zero and Um, so my understanding is, is that there was a, um, a very um, short time frame between uh, the public notifying us of the incident having occurred and, and Kobe's mother uh, making contact with Triple Zero. What's your understanding of the members of the public that assisted Kobe at the time? Um, I think, first of all, thank you um, to those members of the public who assisted. Um, you know, I think in these circumstances human nature kicks in, particularly when you have an infant child. Um, no one likes to see um, kids suffering. Um, the, um, the bravery, the um, compassion, um, I think that those people showed um, to help Kobe at the time um, is immeasurable. Uh, and also, um, you know, they're, they're thrust into a situation uh, that they would have never imagined probably being in and completely out of their control. Um, and to respond in the way they did is, is, um, uh, is so amazing really what they did. And also, you know, I would also like to acknowledge the, um, the efforts of the emergency services as well. Um, this is something that none of us uh, want to experience ever. Um, so the way that the police and, and um, ambulance and other emergency services have responded to this is uh, um, extremely professional, um, compassionate um, and very proud of what they've done. Has Henry and no, 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 there are no other children involved in this relationship, to my understanding. In terms of just the general message from domestic violence, obviously it's been fairly strong on this, what would you say to anyone that's been offended at the moment? Uh, domestic violence is completely unacceptable. Uh, we all know this. This is not a mystery. Um, what I would say, though, is that um, if you are feeling unsafe, uh, if you have concerns about a relationship, there are plenty of support resources available uh, which you can remain anonymous in contact, um, even just to seek advice, even just to talk to someone if it's not a trusted family member or friend. There are professional support services available. Um, we encourage people to reach out um, and have those conversations. Find out what support services are available. Find out what options are available to you. Don't allow yourself to be isolated. Um, seek help because there is help available. And certainly, if you have been harmed or if you are in fear of being harmed, in an emergency, make sure you call triple zero so that the police can respond. But in any case, contact police and we'll do everything we can to help you. Where do police from here in terms of their investigation? Uh, so from here, it is really unpacking um, what has led to um, this, the deaths of, of Kobe and, and Henry, essentially. Um, so it will be quite a complex investigation, I'd imagine. Um, we will prepare a report for the coroner and, uh, and then things will progress from there. Had the uh, history of domestic violence been of interest to police previously? So do you want to rephrase that a little bit for me? Just be... um, sorry, you said before that you believe there was a history of domestic violence with Henry. Had that been of interest to police previously? Uh, so um, we have been involved um, and been notified um, uh, of some domestic uh, violence uh, incidents and reports uh, in relation to this, uh, this family. There's no intervention uh, so there are court processes in place um, uh, in relation to this family as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Christmas plays. Third off line. This car that, that was at the scene, was that the code line that was down the street, down the road at all? Uh, look, I don't have any information uh, in relation to what's happened with the car. Um, so, um, again, if that's needed for the, for the investigation, I'm sure the investigators uh, will take care of that. Um, perhaps, uh, if I can just finish, um, you know, we have a, um, a beautiful little face, uh, which would probably be the face of um, domestic violence moving forward. Tragic set of circumstances. Both families have asked for privacy. Um, Please uh, respect um, what their families have asked for. Um, like I said, Kobe's mother has been brave enough um, and strong enough to provide photographs of her beautiful young daughter. Um, let that be the memory um, that she's allowed to share with us, uh, rather than something that uh, you know is intrusive at a time when it's not appropriate to be intrusive. Thank you. Thanks,